channel, I'm Sand, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my backpack. Today we're going to be doing a what's in my backpack and I'm going to show you guys everything that's in my backpack and how I organize everything this year. So if you'd like to see what's in my backpack and how I organize my stuff this year, then let's go ahead and get into the video. So here's my backpack. So this backpack is by Swiss Plus Gear and it's gray and it has black on it too. And then there's zippers that are also black. So basically it's just a gray and black and black backpack. This is what it looks like all around. And you can see here are the straps of the backpack and there are these little pockets where you can put your phone in or really anything that you'd like to put inside. Um, yeah, and then it has this really nice padding here so that it's nice and comfortable as well as on the back of the handles. And then we have this pocket over here which you can store some extra stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys what's in here after. And then there's one water bottle pocket, which I just have my water bottle in right now. So here's my water bottle. It's a, a Contigo water bottle, um, and it's black, and I really like it because there's a lock on it. And yeah, it's very nice. Okay, it's gonna go back in the pocket. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with the first pocket. This is the first pocket, I don't have anything inside it, but you can put something in here, as well as in here. But I don't have anything in there, so I'm gonna show you guys what's in this pocket first. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what's in the first pocket. So in the first pocket, you can see that there is this nice mesh pocket right over here, which you can store some stuff. Go ahead and open this, I'll show you guys what's inside. So right now inside, I just have two lip balms. So I have this uh, Nivea Strawberry Shine Lip Gloss, and I really like it. It's like a nice red. See, it's a nice red. And then the next one I have is this ELS, and this is the crystal clear one. Clear. So the next thing I have in here is my pencil case. And it's all black, so I decided to go with the black one this year. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's the one I always use. It has three pockets, one big one, medium size, and small size. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything that's in my backpack, as well as showing you guys different ways that you can organize everything. So we're going to start off with my pencil case, and I'm going to show you guys what's inside and how I organized it. So we're going to start in the biggest <laughs> section first. So here's what it looks like. So I just have my pens in here, and you guys can tell if you've been watching our other um, Back to School Spy videos that my pencil case is very different because I used to just put um, my stuff inside, but I found a new way to organize it this year. So I just have like a piece of cardstock paper in here that's folded, and then I put all my pens on there. So these are all like erasable pens, and I can show you guys. So they are the Frickson Erasable Retractable Pens, so you just push this down. And it's a 0 0.7. So you can see this is the cardstock paper and I just put all of my pens on it. And it's nice and easy and accessible and you can just take it out and put it back in. So I really like this way of organizing because you can just take whatever pen you need and put it right back and it's all easy. You can just take a piece of any cardstock paper or paper that's nice and thick. And then just go ahead and fold it in half and then you can put your pens on it. And this is the way that I put it in mine, and you can see it's easily accessible. You can take what pen you want and then go ahead and put it back on. So in the second pocket, um, I have all of my stuff standing up again so I can easily see it. So we're going to start on this side. So the first thing I have is a normal Elmer's glue stick. Then I have a sharpener, an eraser, and then I have my calculator. I love it because it's like mint chocolate. And then I have a mini stapler in my favorite color. And then right at the bottom, which is still visible, is this pair of black scissors. Okay, and that's everything in this pocket. Okay, so now we're on the last pocket. So here is what the last pocket looks like. I have a couple things in here. So I have a mini ruler and then I have this pack of 0 0.7 lead and then I have two of these eraser tops for my pencils and then last but not least I have these pencils oh and I also have this 
extra eraser for one of my mechanical pencils. So this type of pencil case is very handy and you can put so many different things in it and I usually organize it as the stuff that I need the most and stuff that I need a, like mostly but not that much and the stuff that I rarely need and like refill stuff is always in the bottom pocket. So the next thing I have in this pocket is a binder. So here's what it looks like. I just put some pattern paper on the front so that it looks nice. And on the side, I just have this label that says history and geography. So I have two subjects in one binder. Okay, so the first thing I have in here is this folder. And I'm going to put all of my homework in here for um, every subject so I don't have to carry my binders around. So just so that I would know which uh, folder is which, I have the label in the corner. So this one is for history. And then I have a notebook for history. There's just some labels in here, and some paper, normal stuff. And then I have some loose leaf paper in case I need that. And then I have some dividers to just divide all the units in history. Next, I have this uh, folder for geography. And again, it's labeled in the corner so that I know which one is which. Then I have this notebook for geography. Again, the same thing inside. Then I have some loose leaf paper in case I need it. And then I just have some fighters for geography. So this is the next binder. I have another insert in it. And then on the side, it just says the subject. So stack and science is in here. So let's go ahead and open it. And I organize it the same way. Again, I have the same folder and it's labeled. So this one's science folder, again, labeled in the corner. So um, I keep a folder with me for every subject so I can easily put my homework and handouts in here so that when I need it, I can just bring the homework from uh, the folder from each subject home and I don't have to bring all my big binders home so it'll be easier for me. And I also really like these because they have like these little flaps here to keep your papers in and these nice big spacious pockets and you can store a lot in here. So that's great. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to the next pocket. So the next pocket is the first pocket. So the first thing I have in here is this teal pencil case, which I'm going to show you guys what's inside. So if you guys ever have any organizer around, always organize your like markers and pencil crayons. This way it's easier to find and it will also protect them. So I have this organizer, which you guys could have, which you guys probably saw in our video when I bought it. So I have all my pencil crayons in here and they're just in rainbow order. And these are the Prisma colors, which I showed you guys in my Amazon back to school supply video. So don't forget to check that out. So I just have all my um, pencil crayons in here. I have some more here and then just some white. All right guys, so the next thing I have is another organizer to organize my markers, which you guys probably saw in our Amazon video, so don't forget to check that out again. So um, this kind of looks like a briefcase, it's very funny, but I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. So I got this from Amazon too. So some po this is a pocket of sorts. And now we're gonna go to the front side. It's a little handle so it's easy to carry and you can take it wherever you go. So let's go ahead and open it. You can see that how organized this is because it all has its own little slot and I just put all my markers in here in rainbow order. So you can take whatever marker you'd like out and put it back in, it's that easy. And there's also flaps on the side if you'd like to open it. So I'm gonna show you guys. So here's what it looks like. There are slots just like my pencil crayons to hold each and every marker. And there's some more here and then one here and then there's some back here and this one and this whole thing can come out if you just want to use these colors and if you want to take these out you can do that too and you can lay it flat and it'll be easier to use so yeah i really like it it's nice and accessible you can flip through all of them and easily access all the colors yeah it's that easy and you can go ahead and close it up like this you just need to put the velcro flaps on the side together here it looks guys now i'm just gonna go ahead and close this you can go wherever you need to so bye i'm off to school jk guys school did not start yet anyway this is really nice and whenever things are organized it keeps you happy and just makes everything easier for you so always organize everything and just don't just like throw everything in a pencil case I mean, it looks like it's organized, but it's more easier like this. You can really use anything. You don't have to buy anything. You can also make it at home. You can really do anything, but just make sure everything is organized and easily accessible. So the next thing I have in here is another binder, but don't worry, this one binder is different. So I'm gonna show you guys how to organize that. So the 
let's go ahead and show you. So again, it has another insert on here, and I love this because there's like quotes on it, so it'll keep you motivated throughout school and help you do good. And then on the side, again, I have another label, which is math slash language arts, which are both in here. This is also part of organizing. This way you'll know which binder is which. So if I were to put it up in my locker and I would know which binder is which, and if I got all the same colors, I would still know which one is which. So I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. So the next binder is my favorite binder. So the first thing I have in this pocket is just a ruler. This is a full-size ruler. And then I have this nice pocket here where it's just organizing all my stuff. So I have some index cards, some highlighters, sticky notes, some staples for my stapler. And then I have some other stuff which you can't see, which I'm going to show you. So I have this pack of reinforcements. So I just have it in a little book here so it stays nice and protected. Some white ones, some colorful ones, and some more white ones. So that's what's in here. And I also have a pack of labels. Some labels, so I have this yellow one, green one, and then I have this uh, red one, and this blue one. Always keep a clear pocket in your binder, this way you can see everything, and it's nice and handy, and you can see everything that you need. So we're gonna go ahead and flip that to the side. So the next thing I have is, again, another folder, and I love this color, it's white. And it's labeled in the corner so you can see what folder it is. I have a different type of uh, notebook for math because I use a little bit of a bigger one. Just a nice notebook. Then I have some graph paper for math. And then I have my players and look how cool they are. I like this geometric one. This one has some nice designs on it. I have this two one with some more geometric designs. Uh, this purple one with some geometric designs. And then I have this kind of indigo blue. So then I have another folder. This one is for language. And I have a, another book for language. And then I have some line paper in here. And if I need some for math, I can take it from here. And then I just have some dividers. Just basic dividers, nothing special. So yeah. That's what I have, a folder and a notebook for French. So there is a laptop uh, pocket in here, and then you have some two more smaller pockets in here to store stuff. So in this pocket, I have just a couple books, which I'm going to show you guys. I have five of these books, which I'm going to be using for studying, so I have one for each subject, except for language, because I don't have language tests. Anyway, I'm just going to put all my notes in here from that subject, and it'll be easier to study. So I just have six of them here. This one here is my favorite. It says, open your heart. I love the watercolor on it. The next one says, dream big, set goals, and take action. And I have another one of open your heart. Um, this one says, don't let your dreams be dreams. And this one says, follow your dreams, they know the way. And I love these books so much. And they're super duper helpful. And I'll use them a lot this year. So I showed you guys everything that's inside. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what's in some of the outside pockets. So I have this pocket right here, and I have two things in here. The first thing I have is my lock, which I'm going to use for my locker this year. And then I have this geometry set. So it's the Helix Oxford set of mathematical instruments. So this is my lunchbox for this year, and this is my water bottle, and they go together perfectly, and they also go together with my bags. So I have this extra box with all of my extra school supplies, so I have like some uh, pencils, index cards, reinforcements, glue sticks, um, some extra stuff here, basically stuff that you would need to refill, and I also have paper and stuff like that. So I have all my extra stuff in here, so I don't actually bring all of it at once, and I, you can see that I have like two pencils and like a couple of highlighters and stuff like that because I'm just going to take a little bit at a time so like my pencil case will get too heavy and then if I need more I can come back and refill it and this way uh, you'll know that if you have anything left and you'll be much more organized. So a quick tip for you guys is to always stay organized and organize everything through school. This way you will be more happier and you will want to go to school and learn throughout the day and you won't feel tired or bored because everything's in place, easy to use, and yeah, it'll just make you so much happier overall. So don't forget to organize everything. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video and found this video very fun to watch. So I hope that you guys liked all the ways I showed you guys how to organize and I showed you guys how to organize your pencil case and your binders this year and also your markers and pencil cards that way they're easily accessible. So yeah, always don't forget to organize all your stuff. That way it's easier to use and it makes you happy and also you want to like participate in school and actually do the stuff because your stuff is easy and organized and not messy so you can find everything. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know um, how you guys are organizing your stuff this year and if you like this video. And yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment down below, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Also, don't forget to watch all of our other Back to School Supply videos. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Whoa, blah, 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 blah,